Hey there, I'm Meg, and if Facebook's latest update is confusing you when it comes to working with your Facebook page, then this tutorial is for you. In it, I am going to give you a tour of the back end of your Facebook page, show you where the main settings are, and hopefully help you figure out how to use it. Let's get started. So here we are on my Facebook page and the first change you'll notice and pretty much the most glaring is that when you come to your page, you are interacting with it as your personal profile. Up until now, as soon as you went to your page, you would automatically be interacting with it as your page, but not anymore. So what I mean by that is you can see my personal profile in the upper left and because of it, I can't really do anything on my page. I can't make a post. I can't comment as my page. You'll see I'm commenting as Meg Brown and it will let you know that. But it's super easy to switch to interacting as your page and there are two options. The first one, you'll scroll down and you would see this banner and you would click switch now. The second option, which you can also do anywhere, you do not have to be on your Facebook page. You can be on another page, you can be in a group. You would click on your profile picture in the upper left here and you would click on this button here. Now, if your page does not show up here, click see all profiles, and then you would click see all pages and you should be able to find your page from there. For now, I am going to click on my page and I'm automatically switched over to interacting with my page as my page. You'll see the notification pop up here and how you verify who you're interacting as is always by checking out the profile picture in the upper left. Okay, so let's say you want to make a post. On your page, you'll see this post box here. So you can make a post as usual, but a few things to note, this post has to be posted now. You cannot schedule this post. You have to schedule it in Meta Business Suite like it says down here. The other thing is you cannot have this post sent to Instagram. You also have to be on Meta Business Suite in order to make that happen. I'll show you how that works a little bit later in this tutorial. So the other thing you'll probably want to do is create a Facebook event. Now this change I am not a fan of. I feel like it takes more time and it's a little trickier to find how to create an event. So in order to do that, you're going to head on over to the left and you're going to click on professional dashboard, which is honestly a bit confusing. And you'll see underneath your tools events. So you'll click on that and you can see all of your past events and you can create an event here. You can also duplicate a previous event if it's similar to the one you're creating. I do have a tutorial on how to create a Facebook event that goes deeper into the settings. I will link to that down below. So we're still here on the events page and I'm going to show you the rest of the options under that professional dashboard. In order to get back to that, you're going to click on home and then professional dashboard. Under insights, you'll see your pages analytics. If you click on home, you'll get kind of a general overview. And then if you click on your page, you'll see the numbers of how many people like your page, how much your page reach and engagement is overall, your new page likes, your new page followers. Now, the big flaw that I find is I cannot find a way to minimize this window here. So it's you can scroll up and down on this window there is a bar down here, but you can't really scroll back and forth. So I hope Facebook makes a way to minimize this window. On other sections of your page, you'd see a button up here where you could minimize it. So you have to kind of guess what's here. The other insight options are posts where you can see your post reach for each individual post and audience will tell you more about the demographics of people who visit your page. I actually do like how this is broken up. I find it a little easier to read than it was before, other than the fact that this window is glaringly blocking a lot of the information, but you can hopefully guess enough of it. So under tools, we already covered events. There are a few other things. If you click on messaging settings, it will bring you to Meta Business Suite, so just note that. Jobs is where you can create a job post as your page, which is pretty snazzy. You can also create an ad for your page here and you can invite your friends to follow slash like your page, which I definitely recommend doing to grow your audience. And then there are a few other options down here. This is one way to get to Meta Business Suite and we are going to do that now. 
So here we are on Meta Business Suite. And the cool thing about Meta Business Suite is that you can control your Facebook page and your Instagram account here. Now, if you haven't connected the two, I have a tutorial on how to do that, which I will link to down below. The first thing we're going to cover is how to create a post. So you're going to click on planner or content. We're going to start with content and just show you how that looks. You can see all of your published posts. If you click here, you can see your scheduled posts and if you have any drafts, whereas underneath on the planner section, which is kind of cool, you can see I don't have any posts scheduled, but if you did, you'd be able to see what posts you have scheduled when. So this is the date you would see whether it's on Facebook or on Instagram. And from here, you can click create a post or if you click the down button, you can also create a story, which is snazzy. However, if you create a story, you do not have access to Instagram's story options. Like you can't add a link to the story. You can't add a sticker to the story. So I like to create my Instagram stories in Instagram unless it's just a graphic and I'm not linking to anything, then I'll schedule it on Facebook. So back to the content tab. In order to create a post, you click on that create post button and you can choose to post on Facebook or to Instagram and then you have many of the same options that you did before and you can choose to publish now or schedule it, which is really snazzy. I also have a tutorial that goes more in depth on this, which I will link to down below. So from here, the last thing we're really going to cover is inbox this is where your messenger settings are so you would see your messages here if you want to create automations like an automatic reply you would click here i also have a tutorial on how to do that that i will link to down below so that's the gist of what you need back here these are your insights again you if you have instagram or facebook shopping set up you can find that information here so in order to get back to Facebook, as you can see, we're on business.facebook.com is literally to just type in Facebook. And then I usually go to my Facebook page and we're back at the beginning. So that is a tour of how to use your Facebook page with the new Facebook updates. I hope it helped. Again, I have a bunch of tutorials on how to do the things that we covered, like create an event, create a scheduled post and create a Facebook Messenger automation. I will link to those down below. If you have any questions, be sure to check out those tutorials first, but let me know in the comments down below if there is something that is not covered. I am happy to answer. And to learn even more Facebook tips and tricks, including how to get more followers, what to post, and in order to get a strategy that converts admirers into customers, check out my online mini course, Facebook Facelift. I've linked to it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.